Okay, Dennis. Yes, yes. What do you want to know? What's the factor that that uh, kind of dictate the taste of the wine? How the, how do that work? So there's a lot of different factors. Um, you have the soils. Napa has like 110 different types of soils throughout the Napa Valley. Um, there's the altitude of the the grapes and the the plant that you're growing. Uh, the the sun is a huge factor of it too. If it's next to a mountain range, it gets less sun. If it's in the middle of a plain, it's gonna have sun pretty much the entire day. Um, there's a lot of different factors that go into it. When you pick the grape, how long the grape goes for on the on the vine. Okay, so the, does California has a different taste when Chile's Italy and other part of the world? Yeah, so Napa is the closest to Italy. And so mm -hmm. that's why like uh, or Italy and France and all that have like the the most popular wines is because uh -huh. they have they have the most different soils and a lot of the different same like climate structures and, and temperature and everything like that. Um, Napa is known the most for the Cabernet because that's what grows the best in our soil and our atmosphere and everything here. I see. It's like we have a we don't really get like super super cold nights, but we get kind of cold nights, uh -huh. and then the days don't get super super hot, but they do get hot enough. I see. So, so what, what's, what's the sort after wine in the world? Uh, I mean, it, right now there's a bunch of different places in the world that are like trying to become like prevalent in the wine country. Mm -hmm. um, Napa's always been one, Italy's always been one, France has always been one, but now there's places like um, uh, Portugal that is starting to come on the thing, Spain has a lot of wines. Australia is making some wines. Yeah, Australia has been um, coming up lately. Yeah, yeah they have really? a they're they're really good for the Shiraz. They're oh, really good there. So there's just it's it depends on what your atmosphere and everything is and what well, Australia is so. uh, like yellow tail, right? Yeah, that's their like really cheap stuff. That's like <laughs> <laughs> that's like yeah, that's like the the cheap cheap stuff. But I see. yeah, they have some good like Australian like Pinots, Australian Shiraz, like stuff like that. It just it just depends on everything. I mean, a good winemaker can, can make a better wine than other winemakers, too. So, I mean, just because you have good plants and stuff doesn't I see. Make, make a good wine. Is, that, is, that, is, a, is a private winemaker are better than the company winemaker? Usually, small production, small vineyard are better than big vineyard, big production corporate wines. Why is that? Because they control the outcome, the product? They can, yeah, they have a lot more control over the outcome of the product. I Whereas see. like, you know, when, the, you, when you ferment the wine, it goes mm -hmm. through like different fermentation processes. And so you can put it, you can also put it into like stainless steel, you can put it into barrels, and you can take it out of barrels for a while and you can switch it all up. So there's a lot of different factors that go into that. Oh, I see. So Italy is known for, for uh, Pinot. Uh, Italy is, um, I believe, like the the. Oh, sorry, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, is it is it Bougelli and Gamay and all that stuff from Italy? From Italy. Um, yeah, and so that's gonna be it's, it's it's the same, some of the same grape varietals, but it's it was, it's native to Italy. So Italy. it's it's they they have a different name for the grapes. Oh, Whereas here, it's you know Cabernet is like native to California. So oh, so you cannot find different. Cabernet anywhere else. You'll find similar grapes, but it won't be California Cabernet. good quality yeah, exactly. around here. Yeah. And there's people that you know take our you know grapes or our vines and move them over there. But over time and everything, you know things change and um, because of the nature of the soil, and, huh? yeah, everything like oh, that. Oh, so I see. It's very specific to like Napa, California, all that kind of stuff. I see for our wine. So Napa is like top three wine producer of the world? Yeah, I would say at the moment, oh, yeah. So? If, yeah. I mean, a lot of people argue we have the best Cabernet in the world, that mm -hmm. Napa can be the best wine in the world. But I see. So every country has their own forte when it comes to wine? Damn near, yeah. There's 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 wine in almost every country. I know like even Austria is, is really yes, big right. on like their Gruner, uh -huh. and so they serve it like on tap. Oh, I see. And so it's like they don't even like really bottle it. It's, uh, it's just served all all there oh wow interesting i see but, all right guys yeah. that's a little education about wine dennis <laughs> tell them your, your your ig 
I think it's DJ the Menace 88 IG. Yep, hit me up. So if you guys want to visit the uh, Bay Area, Bay Area is known for a winery and scenery, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So if you visit his restaurant, yeah. you guys, yeah. Check out a uh, farmstead, Long Meadow Ranch in Santa Helena. You look on Yelp, we're definitely on the top, so it won't be hard to find. All right, guys. Little education for today.